Hi, uh, my name is Keith Wiegan, and I did my P4 shadowing assignment at the uh, U of A College of Pharmacy Poison Control Center. And uh, this is something I really was never familiar with. Uh, I went in there, and I'd only really been in there uh, when I interviewed for the College of Pharmacy. So uh, it was a completely new environment for me. Um, I, my fourth year student was Jillian Mitchell, and um, she was very informative about uh, what went on at the Poison Control Center. And uh, it was when I went in there, it was almost as if every situation they discussed was like a big case study that the problems that the hospital couldn't figure out would be taken and addressed at the Poison Control Center. So that was very interesting in its own. Um, but at the same time, it was slightly overwhelming. Um, being a first year, I mean, I think we've all learned so much. Uh, I know I have personally, but um, going into a situation, I, everything that I thought I knew was completely over my head. I mean, it just shows how much more knowledge we have to take in and are going to learn in the next couple of years uh, to even get to that point of even trying to work at the Poison Control Center. Um, uh, everything was a group case study from what I saw. Um, the pharmacists had roles of addressing various toxicology aspects. I mean, there was eight or nine different uh, doctors of toxicology, whether they're doing the residency in there or uh, people who, or doctors who have their profession set up there. Um, but uh, there were so many different aspects addressed that uh, I'd say the best way to look at it was approaching it as a whole. They never really looked at one specific um, aspect of any problem presented, but it was nothing like any of the pharmacy settings I've ever been around. Um, there's no prescriptions or anything like that that you really have any patient interaction with. You're mostly solving a problem by yourself with a team um, with very little patient interaction, at least that I'd seen. I mean, they, maybe over the time uh, they get to interact with patients, but for the most part, you're sitting up in this center on the third floor of the College of Pharmacy and... Uh, you're just solving problems. Um, looking at the questions that uh, I was made to ask, um, the first one was, what does it mean to practice as a pharmacist in this setting? And I think this is probably one of the most unique situations you could put yourself in, is being a pharmacist within the Poison Control Center. I mean, I can tell you I saw a uh, MDMA methamphetamine overdose with a rattlesnake bite as well as a Gila monster bite. Uh, I saw different scorpion bites. I mean, there was heroin overdoses, chlorine overdoses, uh, the ble people who would drink bleach. Um, very interesting to say the least, but it was nothing that I expected. Um, what does a typical day look like? Like I said, I mean, from what I saw, it looked like uh, a more elaborated case study uh, with everybody being involved with some type of role, whether they assign questions or they look into it during uh, the time that they're presented the information. Uh, the pharmacist duties, um, they're there to solve some problems. I mean, they're trying to do what's best for the patient, even if they're not interacting with the patient face-to-face. Uh, what does a P4 student do on rotation there? Uh, they just ad address various cases and they work, uh, get to see the feel of the Poison Control Center. And uh, what projects does he or she have to work on? Uh, I think it really just depends uh, on the week. What I got to see more so were going home with questions of various cases that were presented a, a couple days earlier. Uh, the doctors of toxicology would answer a few questions, but... Uh, it was mostly like a bigger case study, like previously stated. And uh, my fourth year stated she would love to work here. Um, it's a very difficult job to obtain, but uh, she thought it was very interesting. I thought it was very interesting as well, but for the time being, I think it may have been slightly over my head, which may have discouraged me, uh, especially with all the information presented. Uh, thank you.